For whatever reason, we love talking about the semi-truck on this channel. I, I'm not gonna question it, but a common comment I get on those videos, though, is the reason the Tesla semi-truck is never really going to work for many companies is because of the recharge time. Electric cars, we all know, cannot recharge their batteries as quickly as a diesel semi-truck can refuel its gas tank, not to mention the range of these diesel trucks are well above that of even the best-case scenario of the Tesla semi. Elon Musk is claiming that it's getting closer to 600 miles in regards to range. With the payload, of course, we still don't know the actual weight of the semi. That could potentially severely limit the amount of weight semi trucks can actually carry compared to the weight of a typical diesel semi truck. But I think people are looking at it the same way there's misconceptions about recharge times for traditional electric cars. Even though I know they're used for very different things. Traditional commuter car, you know, you drive to work and back, you run some errands, you don't have to be driving this thing on great distances like you do with a semi truck. But the important thing about that range of of your diesel truck or about that range of the semi truck is to remember where the range is actually coming from. For the most part, diesel semi trucks are used to refueling at truck stops or even sometimes traditional gas stations, which your range is basically off of the last time you made a stop at that diesel refueling area. Whereas the difference with an EV is that the range is not necessarily from the last time you left a supercharger or any charge station. That range is from wherever you decide to charge that vehicle and that's the benefit the Tesla semi has just any larger, more commercial scale, opposed to just residential charging, your Model 3 from home. Tesla Semi, I think, will be just as capable of charging at the locations that it is being used for. I watched a few YouTubers that brought this up, and I thought they had an excellent point that I wasn't really highlighting in my videos. Tesla is partnering with this char in company on developing a universal standard for heavy-duty EVs to charge from. And while I definitely think that will eventually come and we'll get more and more charge stations that are dedicated for commercial electric vehicles, Tesla needs to be be able to sell essentially the wall adapter except for commercial agencies that are going to be buying the Tesla semi truck because that means you'll be able to charge it at the stops it has to make. The thing about semis is, you know, typically you don't keep them at your house. <laughs> Most of the time the semi truck driving them is delivering them from one warehouse or one factory to the destination, which is oftentimes another warehouse or a different factory. These are commercial locations that typically have access to lots of amounts of wiring, not your traditional standard circuit box that any residential house has. Tesla, I think, needs to sell some type of retrofit commercial package that Tesla semi buyers would be able to install at their own locations so that once that semi truck arrives and you start unloading stuff, whatever the payload or whatever the cargo happens to be, you can also take out your giant charge cord and start charging up your semi truck while you're unloading things. Semi truck drivers already have limitations to how long they're allowed to drive within a single day before they have to take a break. And during those times you'll be able to utilize your best recharge capabilities because electricity almost is always going to be cheaper than gas, particularly diesel gasoline. So I get that there's this advantage that we're used to with diesel semi trucks being able to refuel very, very quickly compared to a battery pack, but companies oftentimes are willing to rework their infrastructure if they're able to save money. And if these commercial warehouses and whatnot are able to install the Tesla semi wall charger, whatever they decide to call it, they could save monumental amount of cash if they no longer had to pay for diesel fuel and could now recharge at the locations that they're either unloading, the truck driver is resting at, and I could totally see it working long term even though the range may not be 1200 miles, it's 1200 miles from the last diesel plant you refueled from. It's not 1200 miles from the last location you potentially unloaded cargo, the last location you picked up cargo, and because electricity already has such a massive infrastructure, the places that these warehouses are loading up semi trucks with cargo cargo from, they more than likely have power, and I think it's more than likely they would have the infrastructure to install their own dedicated supercharger of sorts. I know it would not be as simple. Don't get me wrong, I completely understand that something that can quickly charge up a Tesla Semi will not be something your traditional electrician can install. It would likely take large cabinets like we see at superchargers now, or maybe even enlarged forms of Tesla power walls that would have to hold a charge there. I don't know the intricate details of it, I just know that it would be much more plausible in likely to install those at the commercial locations the semi truck is unloading and offloading cargo from, in which case it probably saves you a trip because you don't have to go, oh yeah, let's stop by the diesel gas station or let's stop by the truck stop that allows us to refuel on diesel. And yes, it may end up taking a little bit longer to recharge compared to just refueling a diesel, but companies I think will be okay with it if it involves saving some money in the process, which ultimately does not come down to the individual truck driver's decision. That comes down to the corporate level choice, which may not 
sound like something a lot of semi-truck drivers out there would be interested in, but my point is it's not necessarily up to them. If a company sees that they can make massive amounts of savings if they just start using an electric semi-truck instead of a diesel one, then they have to just install a few Tesla commercial chargers at their offloading and onloading areas, they'll do it. They'll be willing to change things if there's money savings involved. And of course, Tesla wins because they're the ones selling these things, which are going into production in the second half of this year. And that means significantly less emissions than beforehand, not to mention better traction control of the semi-truck and its individual motors, making jackknifing impossible, not to mention making the vehicle much more fun and easy to drive for that semi-truck driver. No longer has to worry about gears or oil changes or as many brake pad replacements as you typically do with a traditional semi-truck now. Yeah, we haven't even gotten into the maintenance savings of switching to the Tesla semi-truck. So even if it requires a different day-to-day -day schedule for the truck drivers, if the bigger company that's employing them is able to save money, they're totally gonna do it. So what do you guys think of Tesla selling their own commercial semi-truck chargers that will be able to install at warehouses and factories? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.